Hello and welcome. The lockdown on blast. <laughs> the furlough files. With me, Lindsay. And me, Gaz. Should we just say like each half a sentence each for the whole rest of the thing? We'll have to so we don't talk over each other and fuck uh, yeah. up the call. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking annoying. Uh... <laughs> Zoom parties are a shit show, aren't they? Uh, they're, they're actually really fun though because you don't have to worry too much about having a conversation <laughs> if you're playing sure. games I don't actually like having a conversation on a group on a group call it's weird stilted, stilted as fuck yeah and because like in real life when you sat uh, like if you go out with people and it's a party or whatever you just talk to the person next to you don't you but you can't yeah. do that in the uh, <laughs> I should try it <laughs> when you everyone has to listen to you don't they yeah it's just fucking annoying uh, should we say should we say what this podcast is actually about yeah. what are we, we doing <laughs> well, basically, i listened to julie girl and they did one that was quite good so i thought we'd copy it <laughs> quite insightful but, oh we'll crib off of that idea yeah <laughs> so what is this our, lock, our lockdown catch-up Yes, finding out what it's like in the life of the furlough and how oh, my power is coming out. It's a review <laughs> of uh, what, life in quarantine from the COVID-19 outbreak. This, yeah. could, this might end up in a museum one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's about the only Digital. place I will end up. <laughs> <laughs> That's ambitious. More, <laughs> more like recycle. <laughs> <laughs> My museum in on Mozzieland on Animal Crossing at my end, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mozzieland, is that Morrissey themed? Yeah. Did you make that, or is that something that pre-exists? I made it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know is Mozzie something that I invented? No, people call him that. No, no, I know that. Yeah. Ah. But I thought perhaps you know there was a Morrissey fans area. <laughs> No, <laughs> that would that'd be niche. <laughs> Just me there. There is one. It's an island. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to talk about? Well, you said you've come up with some questions for me. I have. To- play hot topics. Yes. Topics. Uh, topics. Um, <laughs> and I've um, created a few lists of um, my like things to do in furlough or in okay. quarantine or. In- or whatever the fuck you're in right now. Okay. Can yeah. I just point out, I've cut my fringe again. What do you think? Cutting your own hair is on one of my lists, but I'm not going to tell you if it's a to-do or not to-do. <laughs> Look at mine. Don't you think it's not bad? No, it's actually good. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Honestly, the fact that I wouldn't have noticed is a good thing, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that good if you look at it, because the sides are like but if you just look at it like that, it's fine. <laughs> What's wrong with the sides? Sorry. <laughs> well, I've only cut the middle and not the so the sides are like set quite long. So I think uh, that's okay. That's good though. We need Nikki no, to advise. You remind me of that cat with a watermelon on the head. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that cat. That's the. <laughs> I think that's no, not the watermelon. Hold on. I was thinking yeah. of the cat with the towel on its head. Zach has his avatar on him. Twitter. Do you know what I know what I mean? Cat with a towel. Yeah, I had it on, as my WhatsApp picture for a while. Very cute. I'm, I'm gonna look for the cat with the watermelon and see if I can find it. That's not so much a compliment. Oh, you might be paranoid now. Cat watermelon helmet was predicted by Google. <laughs> obviously but, a hot hot topic. Actually what I've managed to find is a cat like straddling a watermelon. Oh, that cat looks fat. <laughs> cross-eyed <laughs> <laughs> anyway shall we shall i kick off with my questions to you watermelon it's a grapefruit or something oh that's what i look like <laughs> yeah thanks what very much i know jack jack what jackson is gonna eat me you've forgotten who jackson is haven't you jackson. <laughs> Is he from Coke? No. Who's Jackson? For fuck's sake, he won Big Brother USA. Did I watch that one? 
He was the one they <laughs> called out for being a racist at the end, and he come out with a face like fucking thunder. Yeah, you watched the whole series with me, dude. That, like sort of gun gun wielding man, right? Square face guy. Confetti on my shoulders. Fucking hell, guys. Lockdown's been treating you hard. Confetti on my shoulders guy, right? Yeah. How have you forgotten three months of your life like that? Not that he won. <laughs> well, so you should. It's always a disgrace to humanity. She <laughs> gave him a hard time, right? Yeah, he would come out like, oh, and ask his mum if he'd been a good boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's like, no, nah, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> shall we just talk about what's happening in our lives? Like, what, what is going on with, with for you at the moment? Oh, by the way, yeah, big cover related. I'll be sent said to me on like in the US. I don't know why I'm it's not really news, is it? I'm struggling again with the signal. Skype is so fucking oh, shit. Fuck's sake! Big, Bro- Big Brother US is going to be on later this year, apparently. Oh, okay. Apparently. Great. Wait for yeah. that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> I was pleased when it was cancelled. Oh. Um, and also, Big Brother Australia starts apparently in five weeks' time. Are we going to be covering that? Of course. Good. Should I so? Rather not if the quality is this bad, but... <laughs> uh, everyone bitching about, oh, Big Brother Australia is pre-recorded. Now they're fucking kissing the fucking feet of the pre-record because it's the only thing we've got left. Yeah, so... Okay, if we're talking about Big Brother now, I was wondering about Big Brother. <laughs> mm. And I did a little bit of research to find out, like, what happened to the other big brothers around the world that were oh, running good during, idea. during lockdown? Because obviously Big Brother Canada got cancelled, which is really sad. Because actually that series was quite fun. Mm. And when yeah. the news broke about <laughs> coronavirus, we saw the German housemates find out about it, didn't we? Mm. News and stuff. And well, they must have shut that down as well. But apparently that series is still going and hasn't got a winner yet. So that one's wow. still running through quarantine that's mad and also brazil just finished last week and has a winner so that obviously continues normal as well so it's a shame i guess government restrictions maybe differed between countries because like Canada didn't carry on with a non-essential business wasn't it or whatever Mm -hmm. germany and brazil have more respect for reality tv (laughs) (laughs) Imagine coming out, it's like, you come out to everyone fucking wearing face masks and bloody God knows what, you'd be like, what the fuck? Well, I'm still like that when I go out and I see people <laughs> wearing face masks. I know. What are you going to do if they make it mandatory to wear face masks? It's embarrassing, isn't it? Well, speaking of face masks, like, I know Rowan said, being under cloud, our friend in the US, said that she wasn't allowed into the supermarket without a face mask. But like here, initially when coronavirus started, they said you shouldn't wear a face mask or like wearing a face mask doesn't help. So yeah, and we, also, also, what about my lipstick? I can't wear a face mask and wear lipstick you like on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, we could invent that for Dragon's Den face mask with lipstick on. Oh, yeah. that sounds creepy. What it will like the window so you can see <laughs> oh. transparent window <laughs> lip mask oh um, that's good no but the problem the thing with a, a face mask is apparently if you're front line and you're going to get coughed in your face or whatever then that's okay then, then, then it will help you but like generally you don't just walk out of your house and like there's coronavirus everywhere mm. you're not like are you sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> feels like there fucking is doesn't it see i feel like this feels like it's all over now is that because you, like, you haven't taken it seriously from the fucking minute it started let's be honest it's you who came <laughs> over to do a podcast at my house when i had whooping cough <laughs> <laughs> shush jack still don't know about that <laughs> you don't watch this i don't mind 
So I feel like at the start of it, I was taking it really seriously because I thought that I had it. Yeah. Because I was ill for a long time and I was coughing and I had a fe- well, not fever, but I had night sweats and mm. I felt ill for quite a long time and that cough went on and on and on and I was most you're always fucking ill you say that but so are you (laughs) (laughs) Um, and my biggest concern was giving it to my boyfriend's mom Mm. and I'm really scared of that and then I also have a friend in Ireland who I think Ireland's taking it a lot more seriously and she's been kind of not catastrophizing but like or stressing to me that I shouldn't I shouldn't have been mixing with his mum well she's kind of right she was kind of like hyping it up for me I think whereas Dan my boyfriend was a bit like you're fine we were a bit me and Dan were talking about it <laughs> and we were surprised that Dan wasn't more concerned like I get you coming back and forth like laissez-faire because that's how you are but I was surprised <laughs> Dan wasn't all concerned. Russell Brand, to be fair. Concerned, <laughs> <laughs> didn't believe that I'd got coronavirus, but then mm. when I my senses smell, I was, and I was like, oh, and then they said that could be a symptom. I was like, well, I think I've definitely got it. But also, you can carry it without showing symptoms, so you could still have it and give it to Dan's mum. Yeah, I know. But anyway, she's going out to the shop now by herself, so. <laughs> yeah. Not your fault then. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not on my conscience oh god <laughs> now yeah I'm, just, I don't, I'm not really like watching that much news as as much as i was at first no. when, initially we first were like working from home and the first thing i would do in the morning would be put on the news or watch mm. this morning on about it and now because i don't really, really listen to that stuff it feels like nothing's really happening i'm just mm. living Oh, and also, now that, like, Boris Johnson I don't even do the update, it's not even worth feeding in for all these fucking also rounds. He gives a fuck what they say. Oh, download this fucking app onto your computer so we can track the person you've come into contact with. Fuck off. That's some David Icke type shit. I'm not doing that. Um, that hey. they're, they're trialling it in the Isle of Wight. And this app can, like, uh, tell you every person you in contact with, even if you don't know them. I'm like, that is some fucking MI5 fucking CIA shit. I ain't downloading that. Well, Maybe on Blast that. does not endorse that app. You know they've got that problem though, don't you? Yeah, uh, Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> no, China. China did that. So everyone in China has to have this app which like confirms their health status. Mm. And you're supposed to report your symptoms and stuff, I think. I don't know, and you get a green light or a red light or, like, an amber light, and then if the authorities stop you, they can, like, check your app to see, like, if you're well or not. Mm. You could lie to the app. You could lie to the app, right? I, look, I don't think the whole thing is a conspiracy in itself. Like, I don't think it was, like, released into the world. I don't think it's 5G or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. But oh, they, all, these, all these things that they're bringing in, those are things that ain't going to go away they're things that are going to be with us now new ways to spy on us and i don't trust it ask laurie don't trust telegram she knows (laughs) yeah she don't trust telegram (laughs) it's telegram from china or something it's russian russian yeah (laughs) the russians are spying on us all no offense to any russian viewers Yeah, so what else can go on? How, how are you secretly enjoying lockdown? Admit it. Me? Secretly mm. ignore, enjoying lockdown? There's no secret about it. I love lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> like, I'm getting anxiety about life going back to normal. I know. I can't imagine, like, going on a train ever again, can you? Don't you think this whole thing just proves that you don't need an office, you don't need... Yeah. A friendship group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> don't need, like, half the businesses that you thought you did, like no, all these things are about, like you know, when kids have a day off school and like the police go round or they get fined. It's like kids ain't been to school for fucking months. And what's gonna? <laughs> do you think all kids in the future are gonna be fit because they had a month off school? No, it doesn't mean anything. Also, I don't understand how some of the schools are still open, aren't they? For are they? 
kids, yeah, but kids are frontline workers and like special 